Pull day begins as always with breakfast at the Brickyard where the 500 festival queen is crowned. This year's queen is Allison Jacob of Indianapolis, a junior at Ball State. It's honestly a great overwhelming feeling. You know, I was standing on stage, you know, surrounded by the most elite women in Indiana. And this is the stage for the most elite drivers in the world, all hoping to take the pole for this year's Indianapolis 500. And this is Indianapolis Colts head coach Chuck Pagano's first trip to the track. It absolutely is a Super Bowl racing. What a great experience, you know, for me and my wife to be able to come out here and, and be a part of such a, a great uh, tradition. A tradition that in its history is sometimes interrupted by rain that will delay qualifying. So far this month, the weather has been a factor in the upper 40s last Saturday and now dodging rain and they're trying to dry the track now. And as almost everyone says, when there's bad weather at the world's most famous racetrack, that's Indian May. It's kind of like the military, you hurry up and wait. And you never know what's going to happen. It could happen very quickly or you could sit here all day. So, but it's just the nature of this place. With the track drying, teams and drivers took their place on pit row. And after a two and a half hour rain delay, <laughs> qualifying begins with the hope for fast speeds and dry weather through the weekend. Chris Profit, RTV6.